What's up, gang? I wanted to uh, do a movement video on the bar muscle up. I've done a good amount of stuff on the ring muscle up. I've gotten some questions on how do I make my bar muscles more efficient? How do I get my first bar muscle up? And it's a lot different than the ring muscle up from a few perspectives. So I want to give you guys a little opportunity to uh, dive in here. So a few things. Let's start with the actual strength perspective. Okay, you need some raw pulling power so we don't make up with this aggressive kip that becomes a non-sustainable and a non-manageable movement. Okay, so for those of you that don't have one or feel like you have, you, you're inconsistent or you fail consistently after one or two, and if we take a look at the video and you're getting this huge kip forward and back, we have to run into the kip, that's not what we want. So, to start, we want to be able to sustain five to ten strict chest of bar pull-ups with a nice hollow body position. Looks like this. Here, feet together, belly tight, pull, chest to bar, control down. Break your elbows towards the ground, chest to the bar. Firmly press your chest up against the bar. You should be able to do five of those with ease before we dive into a good amount of kipping bar muscle ups. That's strict portion number one. And absolutely, we, sh we should be able to do a good amount of strict ring dips. Let's say five strict ring dips if we catch low in the top of that dip. Then, into the kip. Something we want to work on as a first drill is, again, maybe five sets of five kip swings with an aggressive press down. Hollow body position, but again, pressing the bar down and keeping the belly tight. Take a look. Here, through, press down. Through, press down. Through, press down. Through, press down. Now, you start to see how high I get and under control. I come back, belly tight. This is the amount of arch we're looking for, pressing down here. I'm not there. We want to avoid those funky positions. Now, once we have that, then it's the transition. So, GHD sit-ups are going to be your best friend. What I mean by that, once we're in this position, Essentially, what we're going to do is throw the bar to the ground, get your elbows over the bar, and you're going to get your chin into your crotch. No different than a GHD sit-up. What you're going to try to practice is kip swing with the press down, and then a bar muscle up. Working on throwing your elbows over the bar, and then getting your heels to your butt in that transition, okay? Looks like this. Here, press down, and then, boom, I'm in this position, okay? So, I come through, heel to the butt. That's key, notice how close I stay to the bar. Now, after that, when you get your heels to your butt, you're gonna press out simultaneously. It's sort of a baby kip. It allows you to pass through the dip, but make it one simultaneous movement. Looks like this. This will be no more kips from the beginning, just a bar muscle up, bringing them heels up to the butt. Boom. Notice how the heels come out and I press right out. The aggressive turn over needs to happen as well. So, let's recap. We start developing that strict pulling power. Then from there, kip swing with the press down, doing a couple sets of that. Then from there, work on that transition, elbows over, heels to the butt. Fast GHD sit up. Throw the bar to the ground. Then, from there, simultaneously transition over into the press through. Right? Try that stuff out. If you have any questions, let me know. But that's step one of the bar muscle. We can work on, on lower drills on the ground, but once we develop some of this stuff, you got to practice it, but keep it clean. If you chicken wing, go back to that kip swing with the press down, strict chest to bar pull-ups. You've got to work on your strict strength. Have fun.